What's the difference between nannies and babysitters? Let's talk about the babysitter first. Um, all right, with the babysitters, they could be very, very young. They could be just high schoolers, um, helping parents, looking after the children. They can go and pick up your child from school. They can look after them at night time while you're still coming back from work because usually the hours are between um, children finishing the school and the parents finishing work are quite different. So the high schoolers, they can easily go and pick up your kids and bring them home. So obviously, uh, for the babysitters, they don't they don't usually have degrees or they don't have any sort of education. What they do, exactly what it's called, they just sit a baby. So they um, they don't usually have CPR um, and they're usually quite cheap. Sassy, Sassy, come here, boy, Sassy. Um, another difference with the babysitters, they uh, do normally only the part-time. As I said before, they could be very young children, um, pretty I would say. Not exactly children anymore, but not exactly the adults. So that could be as young as 12, um, and usually they do a part-time job, sometimes even just um, a one-off job. Uh, however, babysitters are super convenient when you need to um, go out with your partner or you just have the occasional someone needs to come and pick up your child from school and take to the activities maybe um, after school or on the weekend. Sassy? Sassy? That's my dog. So another thing about the babysitters, they usually very very cheap. One of the negatives uh, for the babysitters, I wouldn't suggest uh, for anyone who's got younger children to um, use the babysitters just because they don't actually have the CPR or asthma and lactose, just in case something happens. I'm gonna say it will, but just in case, you always have to think about those negatives and an emergency situation where um, young adult probably won't be able to, not young adult, the teenager probably won't be able to handle that well. All right, let's um, let's just talk about nannies then. So uh, with with the nannies, it's pretty simple. They are usually, they usually um, have been working within the childcare industry for some time and just decided to get an extra job or just stop working in the corporate environment, childcare corporate environment and just go into um, more personal care as becoming a nanny. Um, usually they are at least 18 years old. That just makes them a little bit more mature and just makes them just that much more responsible. Also, nanny do tend to have some sort of education within childcare industry or early childhood education. Um, and as a rule, I would not hire a nanny that does not have a CPR training or asthma and anaphylaxis just because I would like to leave my child with somebody who knows what to do in an emergency situation as if um, choking or anything else that happens. Another difference with uh, with the nannies, um, they they usually work or prefer to work uh, full-time or in some cases part-time but not with the shorter hours. It is uh, usually the hours um, would be the full day however you can arrange um, for some days only. Uh, also another thing about nannies, uh, they could be, uh, they could not have any education within um, early childhood, um, early childhood education no training with the early childhood education however uh, they could be a mothers who children just grow uh, grow up and um, can take care of themselves so another difference is that nanny needs to be registered with the tax department so they they provide you with the services and they usually run as um, as a businesses because they do provide you services so they register with the tax department and they do pay taxes and uh, all the requirement, uh, required legislations apply to nannies as well. So for the parents, you do have to be aware that if your nanny is not registered with the tax department and they don't provide you with the ABN if you are in Australia, then you're probably not doing a correct thing, unfortunately. If you do have children who just needs to be picked up from school and taking a care of during um, afternoon while you're still at work or you're going out with your partner, then I would definitely go for the, just the babysitter 
um, and especially if you have school-aged children. But however, if your child is quite young and um, you decided to have a um, nanny instead of having a childcare center or a family daycare, I would not even think twice, but have a nanny rather than the babysitter.